Hello, Facebook fam. This is Sister Katura, and she is also an American Studies scholar. Sister, tell us what your research will be about, specifically about your project that you're going to talk about here at the symposium today. Well, today I'm going to be looking at another aspect of Booker T. Washington's legacy. So in history, we know Washington as this prominent leader, author, educator, um, and so I'm really looking at his efforts towards institutionalizing advancements through Tuskegee Institute and also other avenues um, that he employed, such as the National Negro Business League. Um, and so specifically, um, I'm really wanting to look at um, the kind of legal and also the um, governmental partnerships that Washington had because um, we know for African Americans um, if somebody can see it then they can take it and so we really want to get at how legally um, was Washington you know able to um, solidify funds and also make sure that um, the facilities on his campus were, you know, run and kind of top notch. When you say when someone can see it, they can take it, mm -hmm. if you're African American, mm -hmm. can you? clarify that just a little bit for my Facebook family and my YouTube family? Absolutely. Well, I take that from the slave tradition of if you were a part of um, any kind of slave culture or any um, kind of oppressed culture that the those that are in power um, have, you know, this, this kind of reign or they authority, if you will, to take it. So that could be anything from physical possessions to materials. Um, and so it's really important to kind of gain independence um, through land ownership, through, um, you know, papers, you know, having these legal forms of citizenship as well. Um, and that's, that's what I mean. Thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, being willing to be Aww. posted all over <laughs> Facebook and, yeah. and everything. But I think that our American Studies research and scholarship is so important. Yeah. And your research, when you mentioned it to me in the hallway the other day, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I need to let people know about that mm -hmm. because I post about me. And I also <laughs> want to post about other sisters and brothers who are doing great work in American Studies. So I appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, thank you, Ms. Jolive, for everything that you do as well. You are keeping this institution going. And, you know, I just thank you for what you have been um, in my journey as well here at Purdue. And you continue to be a pillar of strength for a lot of people. And you may not know it, but you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't She's supposed to cry about it. <laughs>